Yo, what is up, everybody? It's the dude. It's the rebel. It's the guy that steps next level. Mr. King Sarge himself, aka Level 92, baby. Welcome, everybody, to a big episode right here. This is number 60. Now, you can see right behind me, we're here at Man uh, Machinist Hall or Mechanics Hall, whatever it is. We're here in Bridgeton in St. Louis. So, today I told y'all we're going to be doing something real nice. We're going to be uh, checking out some toys. Yes, today is a toy show. It's kind of hot out here, and I'm wearing jeans, hoping I'll fry. So, as we see right now, we're going to be going in. Let's go check this out. Okay, so right now we are in the building and there sure is a lot of toys. I swear to God, if I had these when I was a kid, I would have fun. Let's see, so we see, first off, let's check out what we got here. I see we got some uh, X-Men toys and we got uh, Sentinel. Badass. Um, ah, we got some Transformers here, one of my personal favorites. And I want to say that sound way, but I know it's not. It looks like them, though. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got some... Uh, we got some G.I. Joe, some other action figurines I did not know of. Here's some more of them. They're really nice right here. Let's see what else we got. We got some Batman, some Hellraiser. <laughs> that dude looks ugly. Okay, some emergency called Batman. I would buy that if I was a DC fan. Creature from the Black Lagoon. I've not seen that movie, but I heard it's great. Let's see, we got some more. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> We got some comic okay, we got some comic books. And they, I'm pretty sure all these are arranged in different things. Hey, there's a Hot Wheels. I used to play with the toys, didn't know they had a comic. We got some Masters of the Universe, Superman, Batman, Archie, Fantastic Four, American Best Comics, Guardians of the Galaxy back in the day. Don't forget this. What we got here? Ah! We got Scooby Doo, where are you? The board game. I seen the show once again, but I've not played the game. Let's see what we got. Let's see, we got some. I want to say these are hot. Actually, okay, I can see some of these are Hot Wheels. I know some of these are Matchbox. I remember some of these are from McDonald's. We got some. Uh, we got some more tracks in here. Some Fisher Price toys, I believe. Collectible lunch boxes, Wonderland. Uh, I think that's McDonald's. That's my daddy. And something else. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We got some more action figures. Just like a whole pathway. First off, man, we got some DC Universe action figures. Some Marvel Universe action figures. We got some action figures with comics in the back of it. That should be cool. Of course, you want to read it, you got to open it. But, there ain't nothing about, about that. We got some more uh, Marvel minifigures. Where's my boy Captain? We got the old shield. I'll buy one of those. Let's see. We got some more uh, JLA comics. We got Punisher comics. We got a whole range of them. And I like that shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Let's see. We got some... Uh, we got some kitty, we got some little kitty toys. And I'd be surprised if one of these toys is mine that I sold in the garage of, like hell us ago. It's weird. <laughs> See, we got some more uh, knickknacks over here. We got some Charlie Brown or Peanuts, whatever you mean, uh, Americans call it. But I call it Charlie Brown. And I've seen this show, but then I know they had toys. These are the Ravens. And I remember watching this in uh, preschool. It's pretty nice. I love it. We got some more toys up in here. Some random. We got Star Wars, which I still love to watch right now. I think I found some of the. I think I found something somewhere. These are Barbie dolls. Nope. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see what we got. Let's got. We got more. We got some more GI Joes. Wait a minute. We got a GI Joe Army Edition of uh, what are who are these? Army Navy football. Oh, I never mind G.I. Joe. Look at that. <laughs> he got some more comics. Don't know who that is, but he looks awesome. He looks like a he looks like a Flash mixed in with Captain uh, Captain Marvel. Adam Warlock. <laughs> okay, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Let's see what we got. Oh, <gasps> they got Voltron. Okay, now I remember. I remember I had the original toy, but this one, I saw it at the store, but I didn't want to get it. I don't know why I didn't. But this one I got at the house. Too bad the arm came off. That's the... <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some wrestling classics over here. Excuse me, excuse me. Some WWF, baby. That's awesome. We got some Red Stein. We got the one, two, three kid Xbox. Shout out to your boy. We have uh, Jim Brunzel, Dean Marino. Dean Melina, someone every name is. The Undertaker. And we got some more Masters of the Universe. I remember him having as a toy from McDonald's. It's pretty awesome. Uh, 
We got some more Marvel, yeah, some more wrestling. Yeah. There's some more right there. Yes. The Pittsburgh Steelers. It's got Shazam, but what's Rocket and Trump. What else we got? What do we got? Okay, we got some. Um, oh, this is Ultraman. All right. So for some of y'all may not know, Ultraman is, of course, a Japanese show because you can tell by the Japanese writing. Man, I wish I took Japanese. Let's see what else we got. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? We got some more. Go oh, we got Godzilla, and uh, I'm not sure what these are, but this looks so cool. I wish I had some of these in my house, and I want to take it. These are also awesome. Don't know yet, but alien. Ugh, that's big head. <laughs> see, we got okay. So now there's a Godzilla game. Find anything here. <laughs> see what we got. She's like. You, you got six million dollar man toy. You, you got a power, a He-Man power sword. Some other stuff. Let's see what else we got. We got some knickknacks over here. Now, may I ask what you're doing here, sir? I'm uh, doing digital illustration. Okay, that's a, that's been nice. That's been nice. And of course, there's a clone trooper, which is I consider my favorite of all characters. Oh no, that's a that's a that's Boba. Yep. I was gonna say the other one. Here's some of his paintings. I'm so we got some Legos over here. We got some. We've got some DVDs, books. Hey, it's a Han Solo. Oh. Let's see what else we got here. We got some guy in short shorts wearing a cap, a cop's hat, a little mini robot. I see a. Uh, what's this right here? I see a Voltron. Was it a Voltron comic book? I take it or a Voltron book? Well, I wish I had that toy back. Uh, excuse me. Let's see what else we got here. Oh my God, we got the Paint Ranger and the Green Ranger. What is up? What's up? So I take it these are all your toys, yes? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lion King. I got that game. I got that game. Make sure y'all watch that on Key Clips. And right here we see we got the. Uh, if I get this right, that's the Titanium's more probably. Yeah. Okay. And that is. Uh, I've got who's for who. Who had the axe? Okay. Oh my God, look at all these things. They got the Lost Galaxy Zords. They got the Beetle Boards. They got the Fit. I was gonna say Fist and Ninja Zord, but nope. This I found at a Savers one time. And this is okay. This is the uh, One Command Center from uh, Galaxy. I forgot what it's called. But it was for three other Zords. We got an iPhone, a uh, phone case, a hat, cards. And that's probably the only Zord y'all have right here, right? Yep. Okay, that's still cool. Still love it. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Okay, we got Omega Ranger and his Omega Cycle. God, I love this place. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. What we got? What we got? We got some more Power Rangers. The Gold Ranger. What? It's a, okay, it's a Fish Price toy camera, I believe. Or, uh, yeah, Movie Maker. More Power Rangers, we got Star Wars and more and more action. I, I don't know when they tell me and I'll okay. take a break for a minute. Okay, so we're now heading to a second aisle. We got some, we got like a whole lot of cars basically around this front area. And I'll be surprised if I find one that I had when I was a kid. Oh, we found one already. The Baby Boomer. And the Fondango. Let's see, what else we got, what else we got? Ah, oh, they got a blimp. Ha, <laughs> I was a blimp. So here with some more Hot Wheels and more uh, monster trucks, and they even made a Batman uh, Bat Cycle Hot Wheel. God, look at all these things. Now this one I did not remember. I think I had some electric from Hot Wheels. I forgot what it was. I had a long time ago. And I take it these are all your Hot Wheels, man. Yes, yes. So how long you been collecting? Oh my God. Since 1968. <laughs> he got all the die cast. Okay. We got some, uh, dra okay, I remember these. These are some, uh, dragons, uh, crystal something from Mega Blocks. Totally different from Legos. The copyrights. Let's see, we got some, we got some metals over here. We got some, uh, these are really, these look antique. And this right here is a Transformer. I've got his name. I want to say Devastator, but no. Uh, got more Hot Wheels. We got some more cars. I want to say Hot Wheels. I'm not sure about that. We got some more antique cars. Of course, all these are die cast because you can see the rust. This is, oh, and they got the Atari. I love Atari. I'm planning to get one soon, but I got to get like an old TV. Let's see what else we got. Some more knickknacks, doodads. We got a little drum. We got some comic books. Hello, ladies. Hi. So what do we got over here? Some stuff. Look at all the toys that Kena wants to buy. Toys. 
My Little Pony. Man, what's this in here? Now, what's that supposed to be? This, this is um, a little party setup. We have some napkins and a table cover and some cups. Paw Dude! Rangers. Oh my god, I'm gonna yeah. think for my next birthday. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some uh, we got some monkey masks in this court. There's a blacker monkey. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Okay, Chips Highway Patrol. I'm pretty sure that was a show back in the day. Let's see. No, cheers here. Dude, check it out. It's the Ghostbusters. What's up, man? some time to build it. It's about just at the top half about $250 worth of equipment. Wait a minute. This, this, wait, you made this? My buddy made this one. I Me and him are making a, another one. Is his name Ashley? Oh my god. No, his name so is I'm taking Tom. your uh, Ghost Collector too? I am not, but I am Patrick, a supporter. Uh, okay, that's cool. So what do you got right here? Like? Oh, I read cards. So like what? These are like stories? Like, uh, like, uh, what should I say? Uh, Mine's going to be a police cruiser that's turned in. Like fortune telling cards or whatever? Kind of like that, yeah. Take my fortune. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Let's see how lucky my future will be. Have a seat. All right. I swear to God, it might as well like going down to hell and it's over. That's cool. No. That's cool. You there's know? there's always a way to get back. <laughs> All right. Shuffle just as long as you want to until you feel like you're done. Okay. Set this right here. Wait a minute. Do it all classically. Sorry about my shuffle. Oh, you're fine. It's kind of awkward at first because they're bigger. Proton pack, Acto goggles. That radio actually is playing quotes from the movie. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> we are good. Let's go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Sorry uh, about my shuffling, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, identical sound. Of course, I can't really shuffle that good. Scanning the museum in number two. At the so what we got the here, one, this is the four the cups reversed, <laughs> so I'm going to lay down everything and then I'll point out everything the for you. So the Alright. All <laughs> I mean, to tell that there's real radiation, you should click read and it'll read it, but in order to read that, that much, much you got to you'd have to be in trouble. I love, I love Ghostbusters. So do I. Everybody loves Ghostbusters. The, okay. The trap. Alright. The PKE meter so, and the wand are all made by the toy company Mattel. You have the four They've cups reversed right here, and it's mixed with the eight of cups reversed. This okay, this one right here. Yep, right here. Are okay. Like so the four cups on. is about um, feeling apathy. It's like being so bored so with your situation. Oh, okay. Now, with the eight of cups reversed, this indicates a situation that you could walk away from. But, but you're so comfortable that anything else kind of looks strange to you. So you're bored with where you are, but you don't want to walk away from it. <laughs> so you're kind of, you're, you're, you're stuck, but you're making yourself stuck when you could just walk away and it would be better, you know? Don't, don't get yourself stuck in something because it's comfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> You got the Knight of Pentacles right here, and this is you. Knights are usually younger people. Yeah, you already know I'm in a black horse. And Pentacles indicate money is on your mind. You're trying to find ways to make your money. Okay. Now, the only thing with the Knight of Pentacles is the horse isn't moving. Ah. So, making your money is kind of slow. It'll happen, but it's going to be slower than what you want. Right. So, it's going to be more steady. Okay. You just got to wait for it. Right. You got the page of wands right over here, which means you got a lot of fresh ideas. Yes, I do. You got a lot of stuff you want to do. I want to wear the cape, though. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about this though is the page of wands you got all these ideas but you got to find the idea that works the best with you and that okay. brings you the best outcome so what you have to do is you have to sit down and you have to say to yourself what can I do to make the better money what can I do to make this better so don't take on too much at once focus on one thing at a time and okay. that's how you're going to be successful. But you're not going to be successful if you keep staying in whatever this situation is. Right. So you need to get out of this first. Right. This is judgment. This is a card about second chances. And it's upright for you. So this means that whatever you want to do, try again. Right. Because it's going to be successful. Yes, it will. So 
at first it's not going to seem that way but then you're going to try it from a new angle and it's going to be better and it's going to work now you got another card that indicates you're stuck this is the hangman reverse Ow. but this is your future so since it's reversed it means things are going to start moving along so eventually you're going to walk away from huh. this you're going to see it do it doesn't serve you okay and things are going to start moving now with this card you're going to have to start looking at things a different way right so don't get stuck in your attitudes and opinions too. Okay. Sometimes you just got to be real creative and that's what this card is about. So you need to get creative. Right. Then you got the five of swords over here and this indicates how you feel about things. This indicates defeat. This indicates stumbling blocks. This indicates feeling like if something doesn't go through you beat yourself up for it yeah. like hard so instead of turning around and saying well this didn't work you know maybe there's some other way of doing it mm -hmm. sometimes you're quick to drop something because it didn't work instead of trying to figure out if there's another way you can make it work so this card tells you you need to kind of get rid of that defeatist attitude when something doesn't work Okay. Don't get so frustrated with it that you just end up walking away right away instead of trying to figure out a way to salvage it. But right. if you can't, walk away. You got the Knight of Pentacles reversed right here, which indicates how people see you. So finances are tight. Right. Finances are tight. Um, you might be relying on other people in order to get things the way you want them to. But they see you as more of an independent type. So they believe that you're going to eventually rise up out of it so they're gonna help you so i get a really big family vibe from this right. so your family's behind you they may not always accept everything you do and they might roll their eyes at something but you know they you are behind be you yeah like, no they're gonna be there so this tells you you got that safety net if you need it yep then you got the world, and this is one of the best cards you can get. The world's in my hands. Yes. So this indicates starting over just like this, but it says that you're going to come to a successful completion of everything in order to do everything new. So in order to make a new start, you're going to have to tie up everything that you have. Don't leave any loose ends, and they're all going to tie themselves up with your help, so there's not going to be a whole lot of trouble. Okay. But you're going to have to go back, you're going to revisit, you're going to have to tie them all up, and then you can start new and you can do what you want to do. And this card says you're going to be successful. Alright. So, success there. Yeah! Then you got the Two of Cups reversed over here. Now, the Two of Cups is all about emotional connection with other people. Uh. Don't forget to thank the people in your life that are supporting you. Because there's going to be a time in your life when you get successful with where you are and you're feeling good about yourself but don't forget other people have helped you too of course because this card comes up to let you know that if you don't let them know that you're appreciating what they're doing then they're not gonna likely help you in the future so you got to keep your mind on them too it's not all gonna be about what you do it's gonna be about what they help you accomplish of course. so be thankful to your family your friends but i'm also going to say be thankful to your ancestors the people that came before you because your ancestors always watch over you and they shape who you are so i would say if you're spiritual offer a prayer to your ancestors let them know that you're cool with them watching over you and you're thankful and they're going to continue to do that for you all right so to tie up everything to give you the three main points Okay. Right now you're stuck in a situation where you're just stuck because you're comfortable. You need to get out of that because that's going to hinder your success. Don't be so defeatist if something doesn't work out. If something doesn't work out, try again. And then if that doesn't work out, then walk away. Right. Don't forget to thank the people who help you in your life. Give them credit. Show them that you love them. Pray to your ancestors, they're there too, okay? Okay. So you're going to be successful, it's going to be the, with the help of other people. You're probably going to try a lot of things, and they might fall down, but eventually you're going to find your way. You just got to make sure to stay away from being defeatist and beating yourself up. Okay. 
So make it happen. You already know it. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you see it, apparently I'm stuck in this situation, but I will still try my ass off to be successful. And I also got to thank some of my people. You already know that. So, thank you once again, my brother. You're welcome. Now, uh, can we find you anywhere? Any social media? Anything? Uh, yeah, I'm actually connected with the Gateway City Ghostbusters, St. Okay. Louis Division. Um, you can find my profile there. Um, my screen name is Seraph Bishudu. And this is on what again? Facebook. Okay. All right, all right. I'm not checking into that. Otherwise, you stay awesome, my brother. All right, you too. Still in my future. Okay, so number three, we are looking at some video games. We got some PS3, some Wii, Xbox 360, PS2, and some David Days and GameCab and an Xbox. <gasps> Can I love video games? Let's see. We got some Star Wars toy. Well, more Star Wars toys. Can be seen some in the front. We got Han Solo plate. I bought it and eat off that. We got some guns. I think I, do I have a gun? I do got a gun, but it's a game. Okay. And right now, we're going to a big room. Look at this. Look at all these toys. Jesus Christ. If this is my room, everybody can come over. All right. Just going to walk around and see what we can find. All right. Okay. So, what do we have here, my man? Sean. Uh, this is, yeah, Sean. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, vinyl graphics. Um, a lot of them are my own design. We're doing a lot of custom work. Okay. Uh, you can put these on anything from your car to a laptop, whatever it is you want to put right. and stick them to. Them. We'll make them in all different sizes, up to 18 inches. Right. I kind of like this one. That's nice. Yeah, that's one of my own designs. Right. Um, I've got a bunch of them. I got Batman's and Superman's and all kinds of stuff back there. So, all right. All right. just don't have them all out. That's a lot of the ones that I have cut and ready to go already. So, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. I figured. I figured there'd be some Hot Wheel guys. <laughs> so how much would it? So if I wanted to get a custom logo, like how much would it cost per se? Uh, the vinyl itself, I do about ten dollars a linear foot, and then uh, depending on the custom work that has to go with it, if it's the simple stuff, uh, uh, I kind of waive the custom charge. If it's more complicated stuff, I work that into the price. So okay, it really I, does depend. A lot okay, of the stuff I know I know some I want to make, and yeah. I'm pretty sure it's basic. Sure. So I have to come back and check you out, alright? Okay, sounds great, man. Like right, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Right What's up? Like the Hulk thing on the back of your uh, phone there. I think it's a strong one. Be careful, I might kick your ass. <laughs> Hear me good. Look at all the games and the videos that Kenan loves so dearly. What we got? We got the... Okay, that's a retro. I don't know what kind, but that's a retro. We got a Game Boy Advance. We got NES controllers. We got Super Nintendo games. Uh, NES. Nintendo games. We got a Zelda box, to butt with the NES games. Uh, a couple of Game Cube, PS3, uh, Game Genie for Game Genie for the Sega Genesis, which I would not buy. And of course, some S64. My personal favorite. We got here uh, Rampage, The Rock, Star Wars, Milox, Star Wars, the the, the, all that. I think. Hold on, that one. And of course, we got some more games everywhere I go to. Nothing but games. That's what I like. Pokemon Snap. I'll get that soon. Have not seen that. I've seen that. I'll probably get that later. I wish I had a DS. I'm gonna get some DS games. Game Boy games. Mario Kart. I like that. What else we got here? DVDs. We got some Pokemon. We got some more superhero stuff. Excuse me. Yeah, we got more superhero. Doodads and doodads. Uh, more Star Wars. It's like the same. It's like everywhere we go, we see some of the same things. Uh, what else we got? And some little mini power figures. I think I've seen some of these before. I'm not sure. Macho, yeah. Let's see. What's this? Oh yeah, that's a okay. It's a belt, by the way. Something, something with a belt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have. That was Key Clip 60. I basically been around the whole entire facility front and back uh this is actually great and there's supposed to be another one coming in november the second same place here uh and until next time oh before that remember these like and comment on the video y'all can also subscribe to my page you can uh find me on facebook i'm keenan sergeant slash no facebook.com slash d1192 also same with twitter and on instagram d1192 there until next time i'll see you when i see y'all stay tuned for 61